At exactly 1019 AM EDT, a Falcon Heavy rocket took off from the Kennedy Space Center. But unlike the several Falcon 9 rockets that have been launched this year, this powerful spacecraft wasn't transporting cargo or humans to the International Space Station ISS. Instead, it's acting as a secondary launch pad for NASA's groundbreaking mission to explore an M-type asteroid named 16 Psyche in the constellation of Scorpius. But what exactly is special about this asteroid, and how much is NASA spending to explore it? Let's find out together. The Psyche mission is a groundbreaking effort from NASA to study one of the most mysterious asteroids in the cosmos. And for all we know, this exciting planetismo could be the missing link in our planet formation theory. Had everything gone as planned, the Psyche mission could have taken off in the launch window in 2022. However, some developmental setbacks meant NASA didn't have enough time to complete the necessary testing before the launch period. Investigations by the Independent Review Board IRB, showed that the delay was caused by several issues, including software issues, communication failure between staff members and management, staffing issues, late software delivery, and staffing issues, all of which were aggravated by the coronavirus pandemic. However, at the end of this telling investigation, the IRB noted that many of these issues are general issues experienced at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and not particularly unique to the Psyche mission. After months of delay, it was finally agreed that the Psyche spacecraft will take to the skies aboard the Falcon Heavy rocket on the 13th of October 2023. I am ready to be ecstatic. Psyche Principal Investigator Lindy Elkins Tanton of Arizona State University said in a statement in September, We all are, but we are not ecstatic yet. Let's launch and establish communications. Then we can scream, jump, and hug each other. Following a successful takeoff, the minibus-sized spacecraft detached from its rocket at about 11.19 a.m. Some 30 minutes later, it established two-way communication with NASA's Deep Space Network Complex in Canberra, Australia. This marks the completion of the first phase of the Psyche's 3.5 billion kilometer journey to its final destination. Although it's powered by a low-thrust solar electric propulsion system, the Psyche spacecraft will require some assistance from nature to get to its destination. Currently, the space vehicle is headed for Mars, a three-year journey that is facilitated by the onboard solar electric propulsion system. However, once it arrives on Mars in 2026, the onboard propellants will be temporarily turned off, allowing the Psyche Explorer to fall freely into Martian orbit. During this phase, the spacecraft will come within 3,000 to 4,400 kilometers of the planet's surface. But scientists say there's absolutely no need to panic because it's all part of the plan. Ultimately, the reasoning behind this procedure is to enable the spacecraft to use the gravity assist from the red planet to boost its speed and redirect itself as it continues on its iconic journey towards the Psyche asteroid. Barring any unforeseen circumstances, the spacecraft is expected to reach the asteroid Psyche by July 2029. Upon arrival, it will travel within 76 kilometers of the asteroid's surface, studying the surroundings and sending useful data back to us. The first trove of data is expected to arrive sometime in August 2029. According to NASA, the spacecraft will orbit the asteroid for at least two years. During that time, it will investigate and clarify some of our assumptions about asteroid psyche over the years. Named after the goddess of the soul in ancient Greek mythology, asteroid psyche is the 16th asteroid to be discovered by astronomers. Its history dates back to 1852, when Italian astronomer Annibal de Gasparis first spotted it, orbiting the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Weighing around 440 billion pounds, Asteroid Psyche is the 11 most massive known asteroid in the solar system. In addition to these basic characteristics, Psyche features some very awkward features. For starters, it has an irregular potato-like shape and a surface area that covers up to 165,800 square kilometers. In addition, the asteroid is quite dense, about 212 to 256 pounds per cubic foot. The asteroid's surface gravity is also inferior to the surface gravity experienced on Earth, and even on the Moon. For context, lifting a car on asteroid Psyche will feel like lifting a large dog on Earth. Scientists believe that Psyche is one of the remnants of the violent collisions that occurred during the formation of the solar system. 
the asteroid is most likely a survivor of multiple violent hit-and-run collisions, common when the solar system was forming. However, since its discovery, there's been quite a lot of debate about Psyche, especially in regards to its formation and the elements that make up its core. It's widely believed that Psyche consists of a small amount of rock and an unusually significant amount of metal. In fact, scientific analysis suggests that the asteroid is mostly made up of between 30 to 95% nickel and iron. Due to this high metal content, scientists suspect that asteroid Psyche might actually be the exposed core of a destroyed planet otherwise known as planetismal. In case you are wondering, the core of a planetismal is the building block of an early planet. If indeed asteroid Psyche is a planetismal, it means that scientists will be able to learn a few important details about the interior of terrestrial planets like Earth while studying it. And since we can't possibly bore the metal core of our Earth and other rocky planets, this might be the only way we have to study these details. Generally, the study of metallic space elements and nickel-iron core are two areas that scientists haven't really explored in depth, and that's what makes the Psyche mission even more interesting. As a matter of fact, if the Psyche mission is successful, it would be the first time in history of human space exploration that scientists will be studying a world that's made of metal. I'm excited to see the treasure trove of science Psyche will unlock as NASA's first mission to a metal world. Nicola Fox, Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate at NASA Headquarters said, By studying asteroid Psyche, we hope to better understand our universe and our place in it especially regarding the mysterious and impossible to reach metal core of our home planet Earth. Beyond the study of the asteroid's nickel-iron core, the Psyche mission also has quite a number of scientific objectives. One of the primary scientific objectives involves studying the relative ages of different regions across the surface of asteroid Psyche. In addition, the mission will also help us determine whether small metal bodies contain the same light elements as are expected in the Earth's high-pressure core. According to sources within NASA, the Psyche probe will also be used to test the agency's latest high-speed optical laser communications technology, popularly known as the Deep Space Communications. But that's not all. During its 21-month voyage around the asteroid, this advanced spacecraft will help scientists determine the formation process of the Psyche asteroid. Critically, it will confirm whether or not Psyche was formed under conditions that are more oxidizing or more reducing than the Earth's core. Lastly, this million-dollar mission will help us characterize the topography of the Psyche asteroid itself. To execute these tasks, NASA has equipped the Psyche probe with some of the best-in-class observatory equipment. This includes a magnetometer, a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer, and a multispectral imager, which will be used to study the asteroid's composition. Measuring about 25 meters in length and 7 meters in width, the Psyche probe isn't the biggest space observatory gadget, but if everything goes as planned, its achievement and impact on the space industry could possibly rival that of the James Webb Telescope. But just before the Psyche probe starts sending us those highly anticipated data and pictures, scientists are doing all they can to gather as much information that they can get about the asteroid. In recent times, scientists have also sought to check the asteroid's composition using radar observations and measurements of its thermal inertia. Combining the data obtained from radar and optical observations, scientists were able to generate a 3D model of Psyche, which shows its empirical evidence of two crater-like depressions. This implies that there is a significant variation in the metal content and color of the asteroid over its surface. However, until this spacecraft arrives in the orbit of Psyche in 2029, we'll never really know what these craters look like.